sure you guessed from that great intro that yes, D-Lab has built another Leisure Suit Amp. This time, it's actually housed in a Badger shoe salesman case from about the 1950s. This thing measures approximately 36 long, 12 wide, and I'd say eh, 7 inches high when it's closed. It really turned out nice and I was able to put in two 8 inch Jensen speakers. So I'll get a close up here. You can see the, the control panel line up and then we'll pull her out and you can see how I built it. So there's the original logo plate, Badger Leather Goods Company. This is a sample case made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She's all original. The latches are still in good shape. The case is a little war. You know, there's been some scratching, of course, wear and tear from over the years. And if you open it up, you'll see this little ribbed aluminum thing here and straps. And that's where the shoes used to go. And the bottom section actually had the same thing. But now that cavity is being used for the amplifier module and the two speakers. All right. So the amp is a 2E26 design and it runs volume, treble, and bass controls. There's your power switch with the idiot light. And up here, this is a ventilation area for the tubes because the 2E26 gets pretty hot. Right here, you have an external speaker jack. So when you plug into that with an extension speaker, it'll shut off the two Jensen's. And I use these cool metal covers to protect the speakers. I'm gonna have to put a little bit of silicone because they do try to vibrate with high frequencies. You see the hinges here, I had to have some clearance slots. So my framing had to actually go around that so that they would clear when it's closed. So let's pop this thing out. You can see how I built it. Here is the uh, inner support frame that I built to hold the new pegboard face. This is made out of just standard three quarter inch pine rod. Put a little glue in here. You can see I had to space this for the hinges. So it goes clear across and down, and these aluminum ribs now actually do nothing, okay? I needed to bring these up enough to clear the transformers and the speakers when they set down the front panel. So let's flip that panel around, I'll show you what that's all about. Here's the back side of the old Super Leisure Suit Amp. This is the biggest one I've ever built. I always use a standard pegboard construction. It's easy to cut. And it also gives you nice guidelines for your measurements. And it also looks very cool, but there's another reason I use it, and that's because you envision your speakers sitting down here in this cavity. Well, it gives you a little bit of bass reflex type of operation. So you get better bass out of this thing when the cover's up and those speakers are firing, right? Very cool. Here's the amplifier module, all right? Tube line up, 2E26 output tube. OA2 voltage regulator for the screens of that tube and the 12AX7. Now, I've built several of these 2E26 amps. They're a little screamer and this thing has a great martial brash sound which is what the guy wanted. Okay, Output transformer. This is your speaker plug so if you need to work on it you can just unplug the speaker assembly take out the screws and this module pops right off. Power transformer, controls, your fuse, input jack, and of course the tube wiring. I utilize these Jensen ceramic speakers. These are the CR8 4 ohm models and they're wired in series because the output transformer was only good for 8 ohms. So it makes for a nice sweet little package. Fairly easy to construct on a Hammond chassis. If you're wondering what this piece of wood is, well that is a support because the speakers and out the outside edge here is supported well by the framing, but the center obviously would try to sag. So it sits on this piece of wood and it also rests on the outer case of the power transformer. So obviously what you're waiting for is what does a Leisure Suit Amp sound like? Well, I happen to have somebody here the other day play it. It's a new player and she did a great job. I think you'll enjoy this. So another Leisure Suit creation by Leisure Suit Terry. Newest 
Leisure Suit amp, and this one runs the 2E26 tube. It's about 7 watts, Class A, with two 8-inch Jensen speakers. So let's see what it does. Bass is alright. Crank it right up. We'll see what it does full bore. 